Welcome back to The Sims 4 High School Years Rags to Riches. I guess that name doesn't make a huge amount of sense anymore because today we're going to be going to university. So we enrolled last episode in, well, not enrolled. We applied for university last episode and obviously Reginald is now a young adult. We graduated high school. Uh, where's my, <laughs> my picture? Let's get that up on the wall. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I guess it doesn't go on the wall. Uh, all right, cool. Does this not, hmm, really? This is not a wall-based photo. All right, well, it's gonna take up my whole counter. We got the squishy photo of me at <laughs> graduation. I don't know why they printed it like that, but they did. And I think I'm supposed to get the actual diploma potentially in the mail, maybe today. And hopefully actually today we'll hear about university. In the meantime, I went through all of the Sims that we knew from high school. They are now all young adults and all enrolled in university already. So we're gonna see them all at university too. I tried to enroll them in courses that kind of made sense for their traits or their aspiration, but obviously some of them, you need more skills to be able to get into the distinguished, uh, university courses, so some of them don't make a huge amount of sense, but it is what it is. So we should see them all there. But today let's, well, we got we got no commitments, which is actually pretty awesome. So let's go to the toilet. There we are. I might move this guitar a little bit. Now we will be living in dorms on campus. So we will, I think what we'll do, we could just sell the house, but I'm thinking maybe I just keep all the furniture in my inventory. Can I do that? Or can I, wait, maybe I can't do that because I'm on a door. I don't know how it works. I might just have to sell it all as a thing, which I guess is not so bad. I do like my bed though. Can I bring that? I'm also actually not entirely sure what uh, degree we will do, which we'll obviously choose once uh, that rolls around. Let's just work on some charisma. Actually, let me, um, let me brush teeth, a little confident. There we go, there we go. I practice speech, there we go, yeah. Might as well get our charisma up a little bit more. Already level seven. I mean, we got some good skills. Oh, actually the other thing we'll do, let's go to the thrift store. Cause we need to get some new outfits for Reginald. Like we're gonna make him over using the thrift store. Cause I thought that was a suggestion. I thought that was actually pretty cool. So, so let's do that. Can we like, we can obviously have the outfits in my inventory, but can I like make them my actual outfits or is that not a thing I can do? Cause I don't know how that's going to work. I guess I could also buy outfits, but you, oh no, let's just, let's, let's just go create a look. Let's create a look. Right. So I have got 6,000, hang on, $6,207. I'm pretty rich at this point in time. So <laughs> yeah. So I don't, you know, I don't really understand this thrifty stuff. Like these ones say these are being used for outfits. Do they ever come back in stock? Cause we, we did these ages ago, right? Like, I don't even have any of these anymore. I don't really know how it works. <laughs> Anything exclusive? Uh, we got some Depop exclusive. That's a that's pretty cool. We could we could look pretty cool in that at university. We want everyone to think that I'm super cool. Okay. All right. We got a new look called Fresh to Death, spelt really cool. That's how the cool kids spell. This is it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's my uni look. So I don't. Okay, if I make this right. Uh oh, I've got bills as well. Now, how does this work? So. I've got this here, can I just like, it's just here. It's not really an outfit of mine, which is kind of a, mm. see, I don't know. We might just have to go and create a sim. And uh, now that we've bought this outfit, maybe we just like create the same thing for free. So it's actually an outfit we have. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got it there. I'm just gonna go, let me take it off actually. Uh, remove outfit. Wait, can I, I actually don't know. Can I get that shirt in Creative Sim? Hmm, I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, I can, it's just here. All right, so I'm gonna make now the same outfit that I'm just gonna have as my everyday. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can do this periodically where we just change up our look. Bit of fun with it. Where are those boots at? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Now we should also do it. Let's do a different hair. Let's mix it up, you know? All right, so this is his high school hair. Maybe he's grown it longer. We could do. Go cool university uh, ponytail. <laughs> could do laundry day stuff, shag or sheep. <laughs> Damn, that's some high hair. Could do that. Could do the same as his uh, Bob. I don't know how they're related. Oh, actually there's, there's this amazing website someone made. This website was made by Yuana and it's just like a little tool that will tell us the relationship between two of the Big Wallet family members. So, but I think, it, I'm pretty sure it was Bob. Bob Big Wallet in the university series, he had this hair, which is why I'm like, hmm. Maybe we should do the same thing. So Reginald, big wallet, related to Bob, big wallet. Here we go. Kind of in the way, let me move here. All right, Reginald is the first cousin twice removed of Bob, big wallet, or 
Reginald is the grand niece slash nephew. Okay, yeah, so there's a couple, I guess, there's a, depending on which like family branch you go down, it has different relations. But yeah, so the grand nephew, which means his great uncle <laughs> at this hair at university. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do the same thing again. I feel like, you know, we're going to university as a fresh take. We gotta do some fresh hair. But yeah, that website was really cool. I'm gonna link that down in the description if you guys are interested. It's just pretty much, a little project they did because I always struggle to know what relation everyone is to everyone else. <laughs> you know, I didn't mind the, not that hair. I liked the, I liked the laundry day. I don't know, I think that's kind of nice. Seems like a natural progression for his hair. Still got that middle part, just a bit longer. And then we can change it as we go. And then beard wise, I'm pretty sure, didn't I select to have stubble originally in, when we're in, um, yeah, let me turn off hair growth for a second. I'm pretty sure I selected stubble. I don't know why we never really had it. Like, and when I slept and shaved to prefer growth, it didn't really go there. I don't want to go full beard. Could just do like this kind of stubble or maybe stronger one. I reckon just that. Let's do, let, we'll do hair growth again and see if, see if it saves. All right, what the heck are my other outfits, by the way? That's eh, all right. <laughs> Look, none of, I don't think any of these are going to be fantastic, but we can change them as we go. Yeah, whatevs. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's Reginald. Let's go. Look at that outfit. All right, wait. Hang on a second. University acceptance letter. Wait, what? When did that even arrive? Why is that in my inventory now? Okay. Uh, reading. Yeah! Wait. Yeah! I just wanted to zoom in a little bit. All right, we got accepted. We can choose obviously either university. This time, because in the university let's play, we were mostly at Brightchester, I believe. So we're gonna do the Foxberry Institute this time. Yeah, you got it, man. All right, I guess we have to go home and actually enroll, right? Uh, do you want to change your everyday? A brand new everyday outfit, which is pretty epic. You know, I actually kind of, I, I do like this hair. I think, I think it's a good progression. Now we might as well try to sell this, the fresh to death. <laughs> we may as well sell outfit on trendy. 260, I reckon we can get 750 for it. We need some cash for university. Let's do it. All right, let's go home. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, Miss Dame Noir Vaults. 2.0, what's up? All right, so now do I go here and, oh yeah, let me pay my bills actually. That's probably a good idea too. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, just pay the bills. We got plenty of money. I mean, look at this, 5,900, oh well, 5,700 now. <laughs> All right, university, enroll. Actually, before I enroll, I should probably, maybe what I need, Hang on, because I does this move me right away if I move to the university? Let's just try putting this all in my inventory because I oh there we go because I mean look It'd be good to, to just keep this stuff I don't really want to sell it all because we'll just lose money. So I'll keep as much as I can I guess the rest kind of has to sell and I need the computer to enroll I think well, can I just do it here? Maybe let me check university. Oh, no, I can do it there Okay, because if I can just keep all my stuff, I'd actually kind of like that. All right, so it's just an empty house I'm fine with selling that we got all our items. Let's see if I can enroll here. All right, enroll. It's got random <laughs> junky food in my inventory. So I don't need my homework from, from high school anymore. There we go. All right, Foxberry Institute. Um, hmm. Okay, my camera's kind of in the way no matter where I am. <laughs> if I go a little higher. Okay, I can sit up here. Here we go. All right, so, oh, this is actually good. I can do every single degree because I have enough skill points to be able to do the distinguished degrees. So this is what I was talking about with the other Sims that I've already enrolled. Some of them didn't have enough skill points to do these kind of degrees. So I'm actually in the knowledge aspiration. So I just want to do something kind of smart. But then the other thing is, I mean, maybe economics. What does that get us? Investor, uh, computer science is also one. Villainy. We kind of wanted to look into business because I guess the idea with Reginald is we were maybe going to open like a retail store that sells clothes using the mannequins. Um, not as like a huge thing we're going to be doing, but just on the side could be cool. So we kind of wanted to do like a business degree almost with that. What about physics? What can we do with that? <laughs> not really anything good. I'm just like, I just want to have a look at the distinguished ones, you know? I feel like we could uh, dabble. What about economics? That kind of makes sense. Investor in business, yeah. We could do economics uh, degree. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do four classes because we don't want to spend forever at university. And look, it's already gonna be a while because even with four classes, it's gonna take a minimum of three in-game weeks to complete university. So we're gonna do four classes, which is our basic economic theory, working on my market moves, modeling currency, and macroeconomics. So there we go. Now we're gonna go university housing, which is, there's actually a couple. This one's more expensive. I am, I guess I'm gonna plan, we might do a little bit of a renovation on the dorm to be honest, because I don't think I've changed these dorms. And if I have, I have no idea what I did with them. Um, 
But why is that one more expensive? Is it better? Maybe we need to do the dorm renovation first. I'm a little concerned about what we're gonna get. All right, so this is the more expensive dorm. Now, one problem I have with it, we've only got eight beds here. I actually have, I think, 12 Sims that I wanna come to university with me, which means we're gonna need more bedrooms than what this offers, which is fine. We can just extend it. Um, maybe build up a little bit higher, I think is what I wanna do. And easily fit some stairs in the middle. And then we could also have, maybe if we move some more of the bedrooms upstairs, we can have more of a communal space down here, which would be good. Cause it'd be good to have like a table where we can all do homework and stuff. Like we've got the communal, this little area, but a bigger space would probably be good. So let's actually expand this. Okay, there's my quick little renovation. We did a whole second floor. Basically, hey, my window disappeared. Basically it's a copy and paste of the lower level. Not exactly, but you know, I did the same sort of window thing because I didn't want to rebuild the whole thing and change it because number one, that would take forever. Number two, you know, it already matches the lower portion of the building. So I didn't really want to change it that much. And we can also change it as we go. But the downstairs is pretty different. Just the main area now is a one larger space, but we still have these two dorms here. So I actually left the separate flooring because I kind of like that it created different areas. So we've got, I guess, the original living space just here, or communal space, and I added in a keg, a juice keg, of course. Um, then we also have a little kitchenette that I added in with a mini fridge, microwave, coffee machine, sink, and a bin, and then like a big dining table area where we could sit down, do homework, have a group session there as well. Of course, we've got the juice pong table. We've got to have that. That's just there. I also did this little uh, reading nook under here. I'm, you know, pretty much 99% sure they can't get under there because maybe a kid could, but I think... For an adult sim, I don't think they're gonna fit. Although, if they make it a little bit bigger, they probably could. But that looks a lot less nice. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it, that's just for looks. I thought that was kind of cool, like a little reading nook area. Um, and then over here, we got, I guess, the library area, which, you know what, I might add another couple chairs because it's a little empty at the moment. Might just get a couple of these in. You know, it's just an area, again, to come and do a little bit of work or something. So that's over there. And then that's where the other dorm is. The outside areas were already empty, so I just left those. Upstairs, we have a bunch more dorm rooms. Uh, these two are basically just the copy and paste of ones from the floor below. Then I just did the same sort of rooms in between different colors. You know, this one's a little bit different because we needed the hallway to fit around it. And we have a smaller bathroom up here just because I figured with the increased number of Sims, having another bathroom is probably a good idea. Um, and then yeah, another dorm there. So it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, a lot of color, a lot of bright colors in this dorm and I wanted to keep that. I quite liked it. So this, I think, is where we'll be. Uh, let's go back now to Reginald and actually enroll. All right, university, enroll in a university. This time we should be good. So Foxbury Institute, economics, four classes. We're going to university housing with this one. I don't know why this one is so cheap. This must have nothing in it. Did we go there and like steal stuff at some point? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, number of beds, 14. That's what we're after now. That is good. So let's pick that one. Next. All right, so this is going to cost me zero dollars because of all my scholarships. Yeah, that is epic. <laughs> yes, I will pay with my household funds. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so yes. So now we're moving because obviously we're going into university. I will sell all lot furnishings. So anything left will just get sold. We don't need to keep it. We already put all the stuff I wanted in my inventory. We're taking all the money and let's accept that. Alrighty, here we are. We've got 10 grand too. We're pretty loaded if I do say so myself. Now if I, oh, hmm, not, hmm. I'm a little, hmm. I'm actually kind of concerned. I put all that stuff in my household inventory. Did that just sell those items? Because I can't get to my household inventory anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Well. They'll either be there when we finish university or they won't. We might have to rebuy our house, but that's okay. We'll figure it out when we get there. Now, there's some Sims hanging out here, but what we want to do is click on this and we got these two options. So this is a mod by Little Miss Sam. Uh, if you go to my website, I have a mod list where that will be linked. I'll try and remember to link it down below as well. This allows us to choose which specific sims we want at university with us. And there's a little bit of setup you have to do. So I already aged up all the sims I wanted. They're already all enrolled in the same university. Um, so let's go ahead and choose them. So here they are. There's pretty much everyone I know. So Andrea, 
There we go. Actually, I should probably remove the other roommates, right? All these random people. Uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. Just go through and click remove. Nice and quick. All right, now they're all removed. Let's keep adding the people I want. Pretty much just the people that I know is what we're doing. Ah, uh, Sydney, yeah! Now, I think these other people I don't really know. I think they're just the roommates. So this is the last sim I know. Let me just double check. Remove a roommate. We've got one, two, 12 roommates. Yes, that is, these are the, this is the crowd of people we know in high school. Uh, they're all here with us. Well, they will be. I've just added them all in. So in theory, I guess these people should just disappear eventually and our new roommate should come in. I'm going to claim one of the bedrooms downstairs because I don't really think I want to be going upstairs, to be honest. Um, just because everything's kind of down here. So I think I'll just take it maybe in this room here. So I'm going to sign bed to me. Let's grab that one. <gasps> Molly! Hey, what's up? Welcome. I've missed you. It was just yesterday. It felt like just yesterday we were in high school together. <laughs> It's like, it was yesterday. <laughs> and we've got Andrea here. This is so cool. I'm so excited that this actually works. And then we have the same crowd of people from high school coming to uni. Who's gonna take the bed next to me? I guess we have actually one spare space. Oh, also the mod allows up to 20 roommates instead of just 10. So that's how we can have 12 instead of, I think the default is a maximum of 10, I think including my own sim. So, ah, oh, I'm just waiting for Sydney to show up. Got Luca here. Oh yeah, we're playing juice pong. Now, hang on a second, everybody. When do we have class? In two days. Okay, yeah, so two days, three days, two days, okay. So not today, it's probably actually tomorrow when it says two days, so Tuesday. Although this one says two days as well. Maybe it's Wednesday then. Well, our term hasn't actually started yet, so that's okay. Um, oh, I'm in the soccer team? How did that happen? Is that from my athletic um, scholarship? <laughs> Make fr two friends with teammates. Okay, cool. Now, oh, one of the other good suggestions, I think, let's just let them play some uh, juice pong. Well, I guess ping pong. They're gonna make a club. Um, it's gonna be our study group. Let's just get a little book. And we're gonna get, obviously, the classic. Sydney is definitely gonna be in it. And we'll get Savannah. Jaden, we're pretty good friends with. Molly, Andrea. Uh, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta try and repair our relationship. You know, we're not in high school anymore, okay, guys? We're gonna try and come to terms with Ava. Uh, let's get Raquel and how many How many have I selected? Oh, five, this is up to five, okay. Yeah, that's it. So, no requirements. Uh, well, actually, I guess technically we need to be in university, right? <laughs> there's not really, there's not a thing for that, so whatever. All right, we like to <laughs> do homework, does that? I mean, it says kids activities, but it is technically homework here in university as well. We could also do research maybe as one of those skills in our club activity, like so doing our research for the university. I don't know. I think that's what I'm supposed to say. There was a comment that suggested it and I really liked it. Let me just double check what it said. Oh yeah, they said the activity is to do homework under kids and be friendly. Okay, that's a good, that's a good idea too. Social, be friendly to clubs, study group. I'm just specifying just so we don't just go talk to random sims that so we'll just talk to each other whilst we're doing the club activity. I might get rid of the research one. So this is just, we do our homework together. I think that's kind of cool. Alrighty. So obviously we'll do that. Do I even have, do I have, oh, I do have it. Do homework, do homework. So if I, I I'm just going to test this now. It's kind of weird to start. No, let's, we'll test it later. We'll, we'll do it later. Yeah. Now, is Ava here yet? Who's here? Hello? No one's here. There were people here. Oh wait, someone's in the bathroom. Yeah, Andrea's upstairs. I'm hanging out with Luca. There's Molly. Gonna wait for the other, the rest of the crowd to show up. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for this. I love, I love that we can have the same people with us. Ah, Noah, yeah, welcome. I want someone to bunk with me. Why is no one bunking in my room? <laughs> I guess it should be Sydney once he's here. Or should we have our own space? You know, should we, is that too close for comfort? You know, we're, we're going to uni together. We're in the same dorm together. Is that too much? I don't know. Jaden's here as well. What's up? <laughs> this is so cool. And we've got Tamara as well. Actually, what are my activities or my wants? Confess to being socially awkward. Okay, that's... Oh, hang on. Oh no, I thought she was claiming that bad. No, no. Ask Sydney out. We can do that as well. All right, let's... Um... <laughs> I don't know. I just love that we're playing ping pong. How's everyone else doing? Oh, they're watching TV, hanging out. I mean, we should throw a party tonight, right? The first night on campus. Winner! Oh, we won! We won ping pong! <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's let's um, let's throw a party. Let's throw a campus party. Oh wait, no, no, I always do it wrong. Let me do it through the calendar. Where are we? A Monday night party, you know it. Let's go it. Let's go it, yeah, let's go it. All right, so we're gonna, oh, keg party, yes. Host me, the most socially awkward. And then everyone in, <laughs> my mom, everyone in my dorm is obviously invited. And then who are these other people? I don't really know who you are. Are you, I can't even, I don't even know if they're like adults or not. Like, who are you? 
I apparently know you. You're the lunch. Oh my god, let's invite the lunch lady. <laughs> Janae, I think, is Sydney and Savannah's mom. I think obviously May is Molly's mom, the principal. But let's not invite parents. Let's maybe avoid that. And maybe you were you guys the roommates that were here before I kicked you out. Let's invite you guys. You can come back. Fourteen people. That's pretty good. No mixologist. We, we don't need that. Oh wait. Yeah. Here we go. And then party right here. Choose time to start. What time is it now? Nine a.m. We're doing like a four p.m. You know, we're gonna start early. <laughs> All right, we're doing that. That's on later, guys. It's gonna be great. Now I feel like um. Oh, how do I? Oh, yeah, we have to go to buy. St I was gonna trying to go to buy mode, but no, no, we have to go down to those like vending machines, don't we? To buy computers and stuff. Oh, do I still have my bicycle? Oh, good, I do, because we definitely need that. All right, let's go university items. That we'll be able to get like. I guess technically we're supposed to buy like the microwave and and mini fridge, I think. But like, I mean, we have enough money. I'm not too worried about spending money on that stuff. But I will buy the laptop because that's like a thousand or something. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot Foxberry. It's like they added bicycles in university, but this particular campus has so many stairs that it it doesn't really help. <laughs> so they still like walk everywhere really slow. All right. Eventually we'll get over there to the little vending machine. Here we go. All right. Oh, we should get some posters though to decorate my room. Heck yeah. I like that one. I do like this like uh, Pink Floyd one. That's sick. I like the Flamingo too, but I don't know if it's Reginald. Hey, I like that too. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All right, so we already got the bicycle. Art history book. Hang on. We are in... Oh, we get a rug. Uh, I don't want a rug. I want economics. That's what I'm doing. Do, does that even help me if I get a, a book? Huh? Apparently, you know, apparently it helps. I'm going to get it and see what happens. Oh, a soccer ball. Heck yeah. You can buy some barriers for the dorm and the mini fridges. There they are. Some chest. Oh yeah, the chest. You can put all your junk in it. Let's get a junk chest. Ooh, let's get some spirit flags too. Oh my gosh, I'm spending so much money. I'm not going to get a radio because they're going to turn that on in my dorm and it's going to be on all the time. Ooh, let's get a light though. Heck yeah, red. All right, computer. Oh my gosh, 4,000. Let's get the cheap one. Where's the cheap one? Please tell me there's a cheap one in here. Get a nice mirror. Yeah, let's get one of those. Let's have a little- Oh, wait. I literally can't buy the cheap laptop. I have to buy- Okay, we're gonna have to buy the expensive gaming laptop. <laughs> I feel like there's a way to buy the cheap one. I'm not sure how to do that though. Other than cheating and going to buy mode. Let's just do it. Let's, let's have fun. You know, we're at university. We're, set, we're selling this hopefully for 750 bucks. Oh my god, what a waste of money. All right, so this is my dorm. I guess- they, Get that off my desk. This is my desk now. Put my computer there. I'm gonna say, make sure I lock it for only me. For everyone, but Reginald, there we go. All right, let's decorate. This is my bed here, right? Yeah. So let's get my mirror. I'll put it there. That's nice. Get some post. I already got some posters in here, but you know, can I move this one? Because I don't. I, I guess I am into soccer as well. That's a good poster to have. I'll just put it above Sydney's bed. I assume that's Sydney's bed. No one's there yet. It might not be his. Let's get some little uh, flag thing too. There we go. Got a couple of these. My junk chest. Hmm. Not sure where this is gonna go. To be honest, <laughs> just at the end of my bed. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm gonna forget my junk chest though. That, that's my concern. I'm gonna put all my junk in here, then we're gonna forget about it. Oh, I already have a soccer ball. Why do I have two? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, let's get my lamp. I think we should have my photo. Yeah, there. Just personalize it a little bit. I'll just keep my junk chest in here. I don't know why I got that. I regret it. Um, oh, okay, so I've got my presentation board as well. We've got to do that at some point. All right, so let's get back up to the dorm. Is Sydney here yet? Say so jog here, please. He's already doing his homework. Let's... Well, let's go back to the dorm. Maybe let's try doing our homework then. Let's go back to the dorm eventually. And also, yeah, is Sydney here yet? Where the heck is Sydney? He's not here yet, so I don't know. Is it just me or eerily quiet in this dorm right now? Oh, there we go. We got the TV on. <laughs> I'm going to turn this on with some Batu music. How about that? There we go. Hey, level seven fitness. Sweet. Actually speaking, what did I have to do for? I have to make two friends with my teammates now. Oh, but I guess that's probably why I got a soccer ball, to be honest. <laughs> All right, how do I know who my teammates are? That's gonna be interesting to figure out. Is it in here maybe? Oh, that's why I know you guys. Actually, I invited them to the party, right? I think, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, mascot, yeah! Oh, other mascot. Oh, they're gonna go fight. That's the Brychester mascot, right? Is, is this, this is where the games are, I think, yeah. All right, we're back here. Let's see if we can do our little homework club. Start gathering. If we go sit together as our club, or not, everyone's just, uh, hello? Is anyone gonna move except for this guy? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sit together here, do homework for basic economic theory together. I mean, everyone has different homework, but let's just, let's do our homework together, guys. Yeah, just me, let's go. Oh, cool, you're clapping. Yeah, it's like, well done with your homework. Now, I thought we'd like do this as a group together. Like, I know you guys have your own homework to do. I don't think, I don't think I enrolled any of these other sims in economics. Oh, Sydney! 
Yeah! Welcome! Hug. Go hug Sydney. I, I can't help but notice no one's doing homework. I think they're all just being friendly. Hey, Sydney! Yeah, I can't believe we got into the same university together. How about that? Pretty epic. All right, should we try sitting together again? See if that works. Come on, study group. Let's all study. Oh, you got a coffee. Sweet. You know, I kind of like this dorm. It's kind of wacky with all the colors and everything. I'm, I'm standing up again, but I, I like, you know, there's quite a lot going on here. We've got a lot of sims hanging out. Okay, are we gonna... I feel like the study group things aren't really working. I mean, like, it is working. Because they're obviously all hanging out together. But they're all being friendly, I think. I'm not really doing their homework, though. It's alright, I can do my own homework. Okay, we got someone... Okay, this is dorm life. Just someone practicing the violin in the middle of the communal area. <laughs> hey! Some Minoru guys in this bed. Who the heck is that? No, not my, one of my friends. Wait, are you one of my teammates? Because that would be useful, actually. No. So where is Sydney's bed then? Who's this? Molly is there with Raquel. Okay, we've got Mariah there. Tamara in that one. Luca and Sydney's up here in this bed. Okay. Oh, can can we do the thing where you leave a note? Or I can't remember if that is only um other Sims leaving notes for me. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't mind too much that Sydney and I aren't, aren't in the same room. I know I could just change it by, I think I can just assign it, right? Yeah, I can assign it manually, but I think it's good that we have a little bit of space, you know? You know, you're actually pretty good at violence. Not too bad. It's actually quite nice. Uh, not, wait. I already know you. Why do I have to introduce my, I literally, we literally have a relationship together. <laughs> a cheerful introduction. I gotta say hi. Wait, who who don't I know then? <laughs> Apparently I don't know some people. Oh, you're pretty good at the violin too. What is this with all these violin experts? Heck yeah. All right, we said hi to Mariah, even though we already knew you. That's cool. I reckon tonight's gonna be awesome. Our, our big party is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna ask Sydney about his degree because I actually kind of forgot which degree I gave him. <laughs> Hey, so what, what degree are you doing? Life partner? Wait, what, what's our actual relationship status? Boyfriends, right? Or did we, we promise, didn't we? Is that what we did? Hang on, profile. Uh, two sims, one heart. Yeah, we're promised. Roommates, crush, deeply connected. Impressed by promposal. Hello. <laughs> okay, wait, what was he doing? I completely ignored that. Uh, language and literature. Very nice. I think I actually wanted him to do something else, but he didn't have enough skills, so I, I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, I think we did my first bit of homework. Now, should I maybe do the homework that's actually coming up first, like these two? Oh, I did do that one, that's good. So I need to do working on my market moves homework. And also, oh, well, actually this one's coming up first. The other two, these are all way later. Okay, I need to do this one. Macroeconomics is what I gotta do. Alright everyone, let's do our macroeconomics homework. Oh, the lunch lady! <laughs> Hey there, Reginald. I thought some more about what you said and concluded that Louise Skinner and I probably won't get along. Oh, what a shame. Oh, I wonder if do you reckon they're the same lunch person that's gonna show up in the, <laughs> in the communal area? That actually should be pretty funny. I wonder if we can like force that to happen somehow. Now club points. The thing with club perks is if we get enough of these points, I think we can actually increase the speed at which we do homework. Oh, we already can. Homework boost. Increase the speed at which your sims complete their homework. Ah, uh, yes, please. Is there a secondary boost? I always forget. There's like a whole bunch of other stuff. It's like needs boosts and stuff, right? Oh, I also added... Oh, I can't check it out. I added a, the study spot lot trait as well to this dorm. So in theory, we should also be doing homework quicker thanks to that. Yeah, I feel like you're not doing your homework right now. You seem to be looking away. Stop that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, they're doing their homework. The Price family are good kids. And that's, you know, that's actually, yeah, you're actually pretty good at violin. Pretty impressive. Wait, when's this party setting? Oh, 4 p.m. We got an hour. Yeah, keg party. Let's go. Oh, my old teacher. What's up? I think I have a crush on Julian Burnell. Who the heck is that? Yeah, go for it. Oh, by the way, I still have aging turned off. I know there was that patch a little while ago, but do we know, has that like properly fixed the aging bug in the game? Like, can I safely turn it back on? Because the problem we're having is... A bunch of the families in the world are having babies now and they're just never aging up. So that's why we keep seeing babies everywhere. <laughs> so we might need to turn aging back on at some point. All right, so we nearly finished this. Actually, what do I have to do for my thing, by the way? Attend guest lectures, finish a course with an A grade. Okay, we should be able to do that. All right, let's just get this homework done. Nearly done anyway. All right, so I think that's that homework done just before. Yeah, let's start the party. <laughs> yeah. Party time! Woo! All right, how do we get everyone to, oh, actually, we're still doing a club gathering, so let's listen to Batu together. That should get enough people listening to it. One, two, three, yep, there we go, cool. Have Sims become playful at the same time. Hmm, what's the best way to do that? Maybe there's a keg. Let's uh, tap the juice keg. I guess I should probably not have a study group going anymore. I'm gonna end the gathering. It's a bit weird. Right, tapping, here we go. Alrighty. Yeah, they're still playing the, oh no, it's Brady Vitor is now playing the violin, eh, Brady Vitor? All right, now, oh, already tap it. 
We gotta wait. Now, do keg stand. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> my, what is my party outfit? <laughs> this is my keg stand outfit. Oh, actually, is my teammate here? Yeah, that's Luca. Everyone's wearing different clothes now for the party outfits. Because <laughs> I invited the other people, right? Hang on, we gotta become friends with my, my teammates. Are any of these people here? Kind of, you're down over here. You're not here. Maybe I didn't invite them. You're over here. Hmm. You guys wanna come to the party? Oh, well, whatever. We'll figure that out later. All right, keg stand time. Let's go. And Okay, no? Okay, come on. What the heck? Keg stand time. Sydney, I want to do a keg stand. All right, here we go. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Wee! Oh my god. <laughs> and with that, Reginald passed away. <laughs> he lived a long life and a prosperous life. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> it looks really funny. <laughs> uh, do you mind? You kind of, everyone's kind of like in the way here. Oh. There we go. Wait, finish an entire juice keg? How did we do that already? All right, well, let's get some... Hang on, should we, should we... I feel like we need to move it to like a more central location. Let's put it over here. Then replace keg with blue raspberry. There we go. This is this is a party though. Look at this. Yeah, let's go! Whee! All right, hold me up properly this time, Sydney, please. Because... Okay, you're right in my way. What the heck? Don't drop me. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> why do I look... Why am I wearing this outfit, by the way? All right, should we tap the juice keg? Oh, not, oh, someone else is. Okay, we're good. All right. I feel like I should be dancing too, you know. Get our moves on. And then <laughs> your st Brady is still playing the violin here too. Just for a bit of funsies. <laughs> okay, what happened? Am I dancing? Or oh, I'm really struggling to find a spot to dance. There we go. I'm dancing over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what? I have after school soccer right now, but the term hasn't even started. I'm not going today. I've just had two like full kegs. Wait. That's not fair. The term hasn't started. It says term days left, not yet started. Well, how is that after school activity? Nah, I'm the new Reginald now. I, I don't go to stuff. I party. Yeah! Look at me go! I like how we're basically dancing to this violin music, by the way, because I can't hear the radio. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of like somber. I'm just like, yeah, okay. All right. This is what I call a juice kegger. <laughs> Oh, I have a bowl of food that came in my hand somehow. I'm actually surprised with how many Sims are here, by the way. Like, <laughs> I feel like this party really worked. All right, I'm missing my activity. I do have to go to the toilet. I'm also, actually, I'm not hungry anymore because we ate those chips. Let's, um, ew, that bathroom is so nasty. Let's go use this toilet as well. Oh, a, dish, a dishwasher might be good, but probably, it'd probably break all the time, won't it? Let's not use it. No, no, stop. you don't have to clean up everything. It's not your house, dude. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, also, I'm just tired, but other than that, pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna like, can you stop playing the violin? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cause I feel like you, you, like, you're really good at it, to be honest, but like kind of bringing the vibes down of this kega, you know? Fill juice, cu cups with juice. Come on, everyone, let's get this party started. Here you go, everybody. We're gonna come grab them. Can I, can I call people to get them or? No, nope, I'll just get it myself. Oh, well. more juice for me. Hey, Molly. Oh, Molly's doing her homework. I'll give you a pep talk. <laughs> you got this, Molly. I believe in you. She's like, man, I'm just trying to do my homework and then you guys are throwing this party on a Monday night? Well, I threw an early party on purpose. I didn't want it to go all night long. Now, homework wise, we did the one for tomorrow, which is good. Um, the other, the, we haven't done the two middle ones, but we've got a couple days of those, so I think we're okay. When's this party over, by the way? We've got another hour. Let's thank everyone for coming to the party. There we go. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's been great. In real, apparently I'm not getting up again. Oh, they all came to me. Hey, Sydney, thanks for coming, even though you live here too, but you know, really appreciate it. Brighten your day a little bit. Uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> there we are. Ah, oh, feeling very confident. Let's go! Let's do a suave kiss in front of everybody. I actually really like this communal space, even though it's like really basic. I just like removed the rooms. I think it worked pretty well. Let's play juice pong oh, with, with the bully. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can beat the bully at juice pong. Oh my gosh! Molly was electrocuted! Uh, I feel like she's not gonna find that funny. Yeah, good one, Sydney. Way to read the room. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's just sitting there doing homework and she's getting zapped. All right. All right, Ava, this is time that we, we're gonna work on our relationship here. Are you still the bully that you once were? Love like charisma, hey! I can invent new hashtags, let's go. And we completed the keg party. We've been bestowed a most excellent golden keg, let's go! Wait, where is it? Oh no, don't tell me it's in my household inventory that I can't get to. Oh man. Oh yes, we already beat her, okay, we already got one. Let's see, all right, here goes Ava. Oh, missed! Ah! Get wrecked! All right, come on, Reginald, sink it in. Oh, all right, sink it. Oh, what the heck, dude? Oh, okay, you don't have to cry. Jeez, it's not that, it's not that serious. Oh no. Is this actually gonna improve our relationship? I'm actually curious because 
We currently like hate each other like massively. All right, come on. Yeah! All right. Down, 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 down. All right, I also really gotta go to bed in a second here. Ah, sucked in. All right, come on, Rachel. You only got two more. Let's go two for two. This is very intense. If we win, yes, yes, that's good. If we win this, Ava promised she's gonna be nice to us. She never said that, but I'm gonna assume that's what's gonna happen. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is the last one. I don't know how much juice we've downed at this point, but you can get it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, you don't have to cry. That's. I get you're socially awkward, but you don't have to cry just because you missed it. She's gone. Oh, nice throw. Okay, last one. Oh no, Ava's crying too. This is a really sad game of juice pong. Why do we keep crying about it? It's supposed to be fun, guys. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, really? What is going on, guy? Oh my gosh, why do I have yellow socks and those shoes? Oh no. Down to 1 1. All right, Reginald, just, just get this last one in. Come on. Yeah! Winner! Let's go! All right, what did that do for our relationship, by the way? <laughs> did that help us out? Um, as far as I can tell, it did not. It did nothing. All right, well, <laughs> it I think it literally did not. Oh no, I've got two notes. Oh, three notes in my room already. What the heck? What's this? What do you want? Dear roommate, okay. Please clean me so I know that you care. No, don't just put me down, you monster. Love the dish you just used. I'm pretty sure I literally did clean my dish, but anyway, we like went to the bathroom and everything. All right, what's this one? Is someone living here attempting to go for a record on how much toilet paper in a single sim can use? I can't think of any other explanation of how quickly we run out. Well, you know, I've got digestive problems. I don't know what to tell you. You're not supposed to flush like uh, wipes or anything, so I gotta use a lot of toilet paper, all right? All right, last one, what we got? Scientists say that washing yourself not only keeps you healthier, but also it can mean other people like you more. Just I thought I'd share that fun science fact. You're saying that I stink? Not that bad. All right, I gotta go to bed real bad. Also, I'm gonna need to upgrade this bed uh, soon because this is gonna be really bad. Let's jump into bed. Uh, I'm also, I, you know what? I actually do need to auto light some of these rooms. Just make sure all the dorm rooms are auto lights because otherwise they'll have their lights on all the time. I, uh, the communal spaces, I'll keep the lights on. I think that makes sense. But all the actual dorm rooms will be auto light. Alrighty, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to do the university stuff. That was pretty fun at that party. I'm actually surprised how many people turned up. I'm also super excited that we have all those Sims from high school here with us as well. Um, am I gonna work on our relationship with Ava? I think we can at least be neutral. We don't have to hate each other. I'm also kind of interested that uh, Sydney chose a different dorm room to me. I don't know what that means. I mean, I feel like I've been getting mixed signals from Sydney for a while now. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time and have an awesome day.